You notice also that the news media are doing to Jokar what they did to Trayvon Martin. They're regularly showing a photo of Jokar that was taken when he was about 14. Soft, angelic, nice little boy, harmless, cute, big, lovable eyes. Not at all what he looks like today. The way, whenever we're shown Osama bin Laden, it's in his shepherd pose with his walking stick, walking through the mountains or wherever. But the news media seem to be making him look like an innocent little angel who was totally willing to drive over his own beloved brother to try to get away with his killing spree. Quick audio soundbite. This is, we have a montage here. Drive-by media trying to take the edge off of this by uh, referring to Joe Carr. Just a kid. Same thing they're doing with the photo of this guy. This kid seemed to be out of place in Boston. He seemed to be alienated. He's 19 years old. He's still a kid. He's still a teenager. It's not as if you look at this kid and his background as the hardship that could have turned his heart hard. He was a seemingly normal college kid. Remember, this is a kid who is on a ventilator. Why is it that one kid is susceptible and not another? All-American kid, smoked pot, went to parties, totally normal kid. What seems to be a normal kid in high school on the wrestling team to being radicalized. This is a mixed up kid. Yeah, that's all it is. It's a mixed up kid, totally normal American kid out there smoking pot. Watching YouTube, driving around in his Porsche, not liking America, totally normal kid, nothing to see here. Very sad, in fact. This poor kid, he's got a, he's got a tube down his throat. Just a normal college kid. This kid's on a ventilator. My God, we need to feel sorry for him. Why do we do this? Why in the world do we do? Why do we take what we know is truth and reality and try to hide from it? How does that help anything? I want you to stop and think for a minute here, folks, what the media is telling us about Jokar Sanayev. He's just a normal college kid. Does that not bother anybody? A normal college kid is capable of putting together a pressure cooker bomb, setting it to explode at the Boston Marathon, injuring hundreds and killing a few people. Normal college kid. This is how this stuff ends up getting bastardized. This is how we end up thinking... How we end up not thinking ill of bad people. It's just a normal, co normal college kids do not do this. Radical college kids do this. And by the way, this guy is not a kid. The boy he killed is a kid. This guy is not, a, he's 19 years old, he's not a kid, and he's not a normal kid. Smokes marijuana watches YouTube videos, sits around with his brother, talking about how much he hates America. Yeah, just a normal kid. Then he goes and makes a couple of bombs and blows up the Boston Marathon. Yeah, just a normal kid. I'm sorry, that offends me. That offends my sensibility. He's not a normal kid. There's nothing normal about this, and we don't want it to be normal. Daniel Patrick Moynihan, defining deviancy down. When a culture is unable to stop a deviant activity or a criminal activity or a perverted activity, they simply say, well, this is the new normal, and you move on. Defining deviancy down. That normal college kid can't believe he would do this. A normal He's not a normal kid. He's not a kid. He is a terrorist. 
Mr. Limbaugh, he said that he wasn't a terrorist. Yeah, I know. He said he wasn't, so that's what we go on.